Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to recreate this Ariana Grande inspired God is a Woman makeup tutorial. The first thing we're going to do is prime our face. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer and apply this as normal. Then right over top, I'm going to apply my foundation. I'm using the No Filter ColourPop Foundation and using a damp Real Technique sponge to blend this out. Then to highlight and to give extra coverage, I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I'm going to apply this on the under eye and T-zone. Then same thing, blend this out. To set the cream product, I'm going to use the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. This is translucent, so I'm going to apply a thick layer right over top the areas that I get oily throughout the day. For my contour, I'm using my NYX palette, and I'm going to use this to chisel out the cheekbones, jawline, forehead, and nose. Now to set and soften the finish, I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. Moving on to brows, I'm using the CoverGirl Brow Cream and quickly going to place this as normal to thicken and darken my brows. Now to really get the glow and highlight, I chose to use the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter and this is in the shade Kitten. I'm just going to use my finger to apply this on the cheekbones, brow bone, eyelid, cupid's bow, and down the bridge of my nose. So for the eyes, lips, and face, we're going to use pastels. For the eyes, I'm going to use the Smashbox Cover Shot Pinks and Palms Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to use the Bright Shimmery Baby Pink Shadow, and this is called Borrowed Bling. This is going to give a very bright pink metallic finish to the eye. Then for that defined cut crease, I'm going to use a very tiny brush and wet this shadow. The reason I wet it is it becomes easier to apply. It also becomes more opaque. So almost like a liquid liner, I'm going to apply this in the crease and give it a little bit of a wing at the end. Then for eyeliner, I'm using my Smashbox Always On Eyeliner. So really hugging the lash line corner to corner, then winging out at the end. So for the face and body paint, I used a few different products to create the layers as well as achieving the colors. So first I'm actually using a color correction palette. This is from NYX. I'm going to use the pastel shades here. So first starting with the purple and using a brush I'm going to try to mimic the pattern as best as I can. Looking at photos that I found of her online were still shots from the music video. Then I'm going to use lipsticks. I'll post all the products in the description box for you guys. If you wanna shop any of them or if you have more questions on what I used, but using a pastel purple, darker purple, baby blue, and white, I'm going to use these in layers to really achieve that look. I also place this on my hands, neck, chest, and hair. Then to finish up this look, I'm going to apply my mascara and false lashes. This would be a great Halloween costume. You could also continue the body paint by wearing a nude bodysuit and painting right over top if you wanted to get the full effect of the look. I'll also post more costume and outfit ideas in the description box below. So that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.